the topography plays a huge role in how thunderstorms track themselves. The August 5th hailstorm hit many communities in northern Calgary, including Livingston, leaving residents with significant damage to their homes and cars. One meteorologist says there's a reason these storms keep happening in northern Calgary. If you have a storm that forms, let's say, around um, on the stony land west of Calgary, just over the, over, over the mountains there, and it tracks along the Bow River to Cochrane, along the Bow River Valley into Calgary, you're going to get the north side of the city harder hit because most of the precipitation, most of the hail, in the winter, most of the snow in one of these storms happens on its north side. Spence says Calgary's August hailstorm is almost a carbon copy of the city's 2020 hailstorm, both forming very quickly and intensely. We're next to a big mountain range. So these storms form over the mountains and then they come our way. But when they form over the mountains, particularly if it's a hot day and the sun heats the side of the mountain, all the hot air from the mountainside is going to rise and storms are going to form. Spence says elevation is also another factor. Being 3,000 feet above sea level means less hot air. Calgary is so high up that that layer of warm air is so much shallower that quite often that hailstone doesn't have a chance to melt and it falls as a ball of ice. Hailstorm's sporadic nature makes them hard to forecast, but Spence says technology is advancing. Radar systems have developed tremendously to the point where now they can detect hailstones as opposed to just these blobs on radar. We now know what a hailstone looks like on radar. But is that technology enough to avoid future hailstorm catastrophes? We'll have more on our City News Connect special airing this Sunday at 7 p.m. In Calgary, Margot Rubin, City News.